and welcome to the second episode of Python Tutorials. Uh, this time, we're going to try and make a nifty little useful program uh, that you might actually want to use. So it's the same document we had last time. I'm just going to remove all of this, and we're going to start with a print function. So we're going to print welcome to my calculator. Is that how you spell it? Calculator. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, you probably guess what it is. <laughs> um, so now we need to have an input. Uh, no, we don't. Yes, we do. Uh, so we're going to call it number one. And this is going to be the first number they input. Uh, it's, we're just going to start off with addition. Uh, so we're going to use, we're going to get two inputs and we're just going to add them together. So number one equals input and we just, we can write in here, this this message will come uh, alongside your, where you're going to type it. So if you put please, please enter the f first number. And then do a little thing. I'd have a space after it just because you will literally your your, your uh, type thingy will come right next to it and it makes it look a bit horrible um, if you don't have a space. Um, now we can just copy and paste that and do the same with number two. And please enter the second number here. Now. We, how you do the maths is you can do it out of it but I like to do it inside of a print function you do a print function and inside you write number one plus number two and hopefully if we run this um Please enter the first number. Please enter the second number. Yeah. So it's the, yeah. Right. So now I'm going to explain why this doesn't work, and it's annoying, but it's just how programming works. Um, we have said welcome to the calculator. We've got the two numbers, but these variables are stored as strings just by default. Uh, a string could be a letter, a number, a symbol, anything. But if you if we change this, if we if we do it again, I'm sure I can explain it better. So, well, uh, please enter the first number. So we're entering this as a string. So if we write cheese, and then cheese, cheese, cheese. Is that even how you spell cheese? Like, no, you spell it like that. That sucks. But yeah. So you can tell it's literally saying whatever you enter, it's plusing it, it's putting alongside it. So it's putting the it's putting the two things together, the two words together to make cheese cheese. Um, but there's a way around this. So if we say this is an integer instead of a string, and if I show you there is a string, uh, see you can have a, a string or an input, but we want an input so that you can add it together and divide it and minus it and all that good stuff uh, you just put like like you did the input function you just do um, some more brackets around it which then like transforms it into an integer so now if we enter the first number and then the second number we get two and that's how it works just it in general um, you can also you can these are the symbols that you use in pretty much all programming um, that I know of mainly in yeah C Java Python <coughs> and JavaScript um, so plus adds it a hyphen thingy uh, minus it minus it slash divides it and asterisks asterisk 
uh, which is this little star thing uh, that times it so if we run this now save it first number five second number five 25 it's as simple as that um, you can have you can you can uh, do this uh, so it loops it and does it more than once but we'll look at that later that's a little bit more confusing um, but uh, yeah this is a bit simple so what I'm gonna do is we're going to ask them uh, so let's say uh, sum equals nope that's already a thing see this is already a function so you can't these variables you can call mainly whatever you like but sum is already a function so we should put type of sum in here equals and then ask them for a string input just so I'm just yeah you yeah um of and we can say would you like um addition a subtraction s or multiplication it's a fun word multiplication uh, bracket m so this is basically saying question mark this is basically going to say would you like to do addition subtraction and multiplication and the idea is that if they want addition they'll type in a so now we want to check for this um, so we want to say if type of sum is equal to so double equals uh, and then we can just use it as a string so an exclamation marks a um, colon uh, then we're gonna do this stuff and to show that this stuff is um, is in there you tab it out just so it knows only to do this stuff if it's this do this and then inwards so this this basically when it goes back in it's saying this is this isn't included in that so um, if you go to elif type of sum equals is it subtraction so yeah s um, you can just copy this put a minus in a lift um, and actually you could probably just copy this but sometimes when you're learning a language it's better to just type out bit by bit just so you get used to how it works and just change this to uh, M for multiplication and to a little asterisk if you don't know where that is it's above the the number eight on your keyboard you press shift and press that and that'll come up um, but and now we need to say if they've not typed in any of them so else you don't need to put anything in there it's just if they do anything apart from this stuff uh, print uh, sorry I do not understand that sum we do not have that sum okay yeah um, we we did an open bracket here and an open bracket here but didn't close it it's uh, it's quite hard to see because I've got it zoomed in so it's easier for you to see but um, yeah that's why I'm scrolling quite a lot there's no side scroll which is quite annoying um, should be fine we should hopefully get an error I think you no no one oh who knows um, so if we type in a 
we get the first number uh, 10 minus 5 should be um, what? okay we got 50 because we we did an asterisk I don't know how that happened but yep so try again if we put in A we get 10 plus 10 is 20 try again if we type in S 10 and 10 0 and we go for multiplication 10 and 10 100 and if we type in potato sorry I, I do not have that sum um, or actually if you're being clever I do not have uh, and then you do a plus which which adds them as a string but we'll talk about that later if you just do that then I think if you type in oh oh no no obviously sorry I got distracted by potatoes uh, if you do that plus type of sum then sorry I do not have T or the sum sorry I do not have the sum t um, so yeah that's uh, the second episode done uh, if you enjoyed that it'd be great if you could give a like and subscribe next time we'll be looking at making it loop and uh, yeah some other things you can do in Python bye